Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing with Japan. Alright, so last episode, we started the invasions of the United States, and they were not very effective, uh, largely because, well, the range. The range, guys. Uh, we're not close enough to provide any kind of air support. I mean, even with, like, tactical bombers, they probably wouldn't be able to reach here. Maybe. I don't know, with the highest level tactical bombers and putting some uh, experience into to range, they might be able to assist, uh, but the heavy fighters I don't think would reach. Yeah, I feel pretty... Well, they might. They might be able to reach here. But yeah, if we had the larger planes, basically, uh, then maybe we'd be able to provide coverage here, but we don't have those because we hadn't needed them up to this point. Uh, so that's not an option for getting air support over here. Uh, as far as naval support going, you know, we, we don't have the range for that either. So uh, I've made a few adjustments here. I've got a little tiny fleet, a uh, little task force. It's not large. This is what we have. Uh, and these are all the ships that have uh, 5,000 kilometers. Uh, this is everything we got uh, that has the 5,000 kilometer range, which means uh, not only can it reach the Pacific Coast, they can reach pretty much anywhere for the most part. There's a couple areas in the world they can't reach. Uh, but yeah, they have very, very long range. Uh, so that'll allow them to support here, but it's not much. It's two carriers. Uh, again, they're, this is all newer ships, uh, two battleships and then eight light cruisers. So not much, guys. If they got engaged by regular fleet, they would be in some trouble. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't end up happening because, uh, I mean, we just got to gamble it. Uh, so what we're doing is, as we're bringing them over here, and then I'm going to mess with their uh, air composition uh, of those carriers once they get here. So we're doing that. Uh, we're also making sure that we train up this yellow army, uh, get them back up to regular experience, and I took a few of the Marines out of this army since this is the one I'm going to send first. Uh, the yellow one, I mean. Uh, so we had ten Marines in this one while we only had six in the yellow one. So I took two from the blue and moved them over to the yellow and then switched. Just kind of switched those divisions over. Uh, so the yellow army will have a few more Marine divisions uh, to help them out in this invasion. Uh, so hopefully all that will uh, make the difference and allow us to actually succeed. And plus we are invading into Mexico, which should be easier anyways. Uh, so, I did name the battleship and the carrier based on your guys' suggestions. Uh, so the battleship is going to be named the Sagami, uh, and that is a old province in Japan. Uh, you know, from before, I don't think it's called that any longer. Uh, but that's what the battleships are named after in Japan. That's their naming scheme uh, is based on provinces. Uh, so it fits to name the next model also after a province. Uh, a lot of people suggested naming them after, like, people from Japanese history, including, like, emperors. And, uh, from my understanding, the Japanese had a strict policy of not doing that. Like, they never named any ships after people. Uh, it was always named after, like, places and things and mountains and rivers and stuff like that. So I think that kind of goes against the Japanese naming scheme a little bit. Uh, but we did have a lot of really good name suggestions, so it's kind of hard to pick... Uh, which ones to go with, but we ended up going with Sagami for the battleships, and then for the carrier, uh, we went with the Shinano. Now, this was originally a Yamato uh, battleship. However, the Japanese military was never really sure what to do with this battleship, because by that point it was kind of clear that the time of the battleships was over. Uh, so eventually they decided to convert it to a carrier, uh, making it, I think, the largest carrier the Japanese ever produced. However, it wasn't a, a full fleet carrier, and it was designed to like be a support carrier, and this is because it was so close to the end of the war by that point. Uh, it ended up getting sunk pretty quick by a submarine, to be the largest uh, ship to ever be sunk by a submarine, actually. Uh, so, I think it was fitting for a carrier name, even if it originally was a battleship name. Uh, it was the, the last carrier they produced that was of you know that kind of size, so yeah, I think it fits. Uh, so, thanks for that suggestion, those two suggestions, guys. Uh, and let's go ahead and let it play. Uh, and just a lot of loud vehicles going by today, guys. So sorry about that. I got like a motorcycle like outside the window right now. I'll just cut that out because that was kind of loud. Uh, so just uh, it is uh, towards the evening here. Whenever I record around this time, I always notice that we've got like a lot more vehicles going by than normal. Uh, I did set up another um, lend lease. Uh, so, trying to send more equipment to them. Again, just trying to get them so that we can annex them. Uh, we're we're going to fire off from both of them. However, we're at 707 for them. So, we're doing better uh, towards getting them annexed. Uh, but a big problem here is that we're, we're currently working on so much other stuff. I'm trying to get all this other stuff built here. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what all this that we're, is that we're building. I think it's all for aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. 
just trying to fix our aluminum uh, problems since we are kind of having some shortages there. Uh, so the Yellow Army, uh, are they ready to go yet? They are. Uh, the problem right now is, of course, do they have those units that I just sent them? I don't actually know. I guess it's all 24 divisions here, so it does look like they have all the uh, Marine units that we sent. Is the uh, fleet that I sent here ready? It looks like it is. We're going to pull these guys off of Naval Invasion Support. Yeah, it looks like these guys are here. Uh, so we're going to want to change up their composition here, uh, away from the Naval Bombers a bit, and more towards getting ourselves some... Uh, Close air support, which I know we do have some old carrier close air support, but that's better than nothing. Uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's obviously not great, but it'll be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them up to, let me just see how the best way to do this. We want good fighter support. Um, and we don't want to completely pull from the naval bombers. So let's do 30 on each of these. And then take these down by 30. There we go. Same thing here. I'm just kind of tick these down by 30. And then go ahead and get the uh, close air support on here. There we go, beautiful. So that they can provide some close air support for our landing, uh, you know, for our invasions here. All right, so I think they're ready to go. Um, and I want them to do a very specific, I don't think I'm gonna set them to do the naval invasion support. Cause I want them to uh, support this invasion. This is where I'd like to land. You know what guys, this is probably not even, I didn't even see the fact that this is the mountain province. <laughs> That's great. Okay, guys, I think it should it would make most sense to just go ahead and march all the way up Baja, California. I don't think there's any better way to do this right now, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a better way to do this. Unless, because, yeah, I mean, this is the mountain province. This would be terrible. This would not be very effective, I don't think. Uh, very effective invasion. So this is what we're going to do. Let's take the entire army and have them all signed to that. And then we're going to take a couple of these divisions, just a couple... And we're going to have them do something a little bit different here. I've got a plan. We'll see if it works. Maybe it doesn't. We're going to create a little fallback line so some of these guys do not go onto the invasion. We don't want all of them to deploy. It's not going to be like a huge chunk of our army here, but it's going to be a few divisions. Uh, eight divisions, so about a third of the army here. While the rest are going to go on this invasion, the other third will stay here. And hopefully this works out. Uh, so we're sending these 16 divisions. I think they're ready to go. The only problem right now is, of course, that we don't cover these zones yet. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and have them set up to naval invasion support now because I know that they'll only... Oops. Hold up here. They should be assigned to this area, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they should be assigned to cover this area here. Uh, we'll actually pull them out. Oh, okay, they're going to repair. I see. So what we want to do is probably just take them off. Uh, and let them why can't they repair here? That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure why they don't want to repair there I never did set the the fleet to the excuse me the ports up so that they didn't like repair oops in certain locations Stay here guys. I didn't mean to do this when they're selected so you can uh, Tell these guys to not like repair on any of these level one locations. I never did that So some of these might have been like repairing it uh, less efficient areas perhaps I don't know uh, so these guys are repairing up. They are now fully repaired. Let's go ahead and put them onto the naval invasion support. And then we're going to take them out of the areas where uh, this one here is not going through. All right, so they should be able to escort our our troops all the way over there. Uh, and what we can do... Yeah, I think we already have... Yeah, these guys are covering the most they can cover. So we'll see if they're able to... Uh, if, this, if this works. Uh, so let's try this out. Um... All right, so they'll be going on to this invasion here. Remember, it's only 18 divisions, or excuse me, 16 divisions going. Uh, the fleet uh, carrier uh, task force is escorting them and should escort them all the way this time since they now have the range uh, issue fixed. And we'll see if that's enough. I don't know. Again, we're, we're attacking into Mexico. We're attacking with more troops into this particular invasion. And they'll actually have both air and naval support. So I'm just hoping that that'll be enough to get us the win here. Uh, we did get the rocket launcher. That's a nice passive bonus. Uh, so uh, what we want to get now is something I didn't realize we didn't have yet. And this would help to have for our invasions. Uh, and plus we get it in 70 days. Uh, so we're going to grab the advanced landing craft. That's the last tech for them. And uh, that would be really useful to have. Um, so if this invasion fails, uh, then at least the other invasions will have that benefit. Because we'll make sure we wait for that. Uh, so they're almost there. They're on their way. 
And uh, they're attacking into desert here. That's going to have some penalties. Uh, but it, again, it's not it's not as bad as up here. And it does look like this will be successful now. Uh, you know, all the all the benefits that we're getting here. And they are con canceling a non-aggression pact. That's that one faction, by the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these troops here. Just make sure, excuse me, these planes here. Uh, not the naval bombers, obviously, because they wouldn't be able to do much here. Uh, that's the fighter, naval bomber. Let's get them assigned. Doesn't look like they're able to assign here. That's interesting. Um, hmm. I wonder why. I'm not entirely sure they are close enough. Okay, well, whatever. I guess it wasn't needed. We did end up winning. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop clicking every damn button in the game here. All right, so what I want to do now is where is that task force uh, that we have here? Let's just take a look. Uh, let's see if we can figure out where they went. Did they go back? Okay, so they're over here now. So what we want them to do is now to cover this area as well. And then we're going to send those other troops that we have. All right, there we go. We finally got them selected here. So we're going to get them assigned to that, and then we're going to go ahead and send them uh, right away. Oh, you know what? Actually, not right away. Let's wait for the fleet to get back to support them in that. And let's go ahead and start pushing forward. Uh, there's not a lot of troops up here to stop stop us, but you'll notice that there are some troops. Uh, we do have the uh, American American medium tank division here attempting to stop us. Uh, so we have made a beachhead, and that's what's important. Uh, and and we expected that that would be much easier attacking the Mexicans than attacking the Americans. Uh, and let's just place these guys in that train army and see what we have for decisions available. This is just the war propaganda one, which we already have 100% war propaganda. Also, it uh, looks like we might have finished up that mission, rescuing the captured operative. Excellent. So we've done that. Um, do we have our, our guys doing anything else? Probably not. I suppose we'll want to work on uh, continuing to steal blueprints. Uh, I guess we'll go after the aviation industrial, uh, excuse me, aviation industry blueprints. Uh, so let's go and get these guys assigned. Going with the level ones because I'm trying to get them upgraded here. Uh, so there we go. Commence when ready. We'll try and steal some more schematics. So again, we are facing attrition issues, and what we're going to do is let's go and build this port up just in case we're not able to get a new one. And we can always stop them from building this if need be. All right, let's go and pop that up to the top, and let's push forward. Uh, so as soon as this uh, task force here gets back, we'll go ahead and send the next army off. And you can see what I'm doing here is just in case I get stopped here which is definitely uh, a possibility uh, that the, the Americans start pumping troops down here uh, and then we could have got stopped here before we got up to the top. The idea here is that we'd be able to... Oh, atomic bombing of Bermuda. Okay, so what? who bombed who? What happened here? All right, so... Uh, da, 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 da. The world holds its breath, waiting for what will come next. Will this force Great Britain to surrender? So the Americans bombed the British in Bermuda, basically. Uh, so... If they had any troops there, uh, then that was would have wreaked havoc on them. Uh, it does look like they, that's probably where they're launching the invasions from, so they might have had some troops there. Uh, they do have another invasion here. It is not into a port, so it's probably going to fail miserably. Uh, looks like they've been pushed back into the sea over here as well. The British are, are probably taking massive casualties with these invasions that are just entirely unsuccessful. Uh, let's go ahead and push up here. We can have somebody else grab this province. We want our fast divisions to get up here as quickly as possible. And uh, we'll have to see how it ends up going. Uh, it does look like they did bring some troops down, both the Mexicans and the Americans. Uh, so could find ourselves in a situation where they're able to push us back if we don't hurry up and get these divisions uh, up to the top there. So let's take actually just take all of them, have them all go up there, and then just take one Marine Division have him grab this real quick. And it does look like we're about to lose there if we don't hurry up and get some of these troops here. Uh, they're moving too damn slow, though. And we did get our research finished for the uh, attritional containment, which is some more organization. Uh, now we're going to get the last one. Now this is going to be really important for the reinforce rate. 2% reinforce rate is going to be really nice to have. So this is what I was talking about. They pump a bunch of troops down here before we able to make any progress, and then maybe we can attack them from behind with this, this other invasion in the hope that they don't have any troops there. Now they could be pumping them all over this way, which makes it more defended than it would be normally. Uh, and maybe San Diego would be the better place to launch that invasion. Uh, it might be, in fact, I almost want to, to do it. Um, but man, I feel like it's still going to be well defended there. 
But attacking in the mountains is so bad. I didn't realize that was a mountain uh, province when I did that. So we could, of course, you know, just edit this and have him attack over there instead. And I think that might be what we ended up doing, guys. Yeah, let's have him attack San Diego. And we'll just have to hope, uh, and this is hills too, so they still get a penalty. Have to hope that the, the American troops that were guarding uh, these ports have moved down south to help defend against this invasion that we're doing here. We cannot allow them to push us back into the sea, guys. Uh, and we have gotten here. Okay, excellent. I'm uh, not entirely sure what this uh, task force is now doing. We could have left them here to provide support for these guys, but I really want them to support the, this the secondary invasion. Uh, I don't know why they came back. Uh, that's kind of strange. All right, so let's get these guys pumping up over to here. And basically, we need the entire Yellow Army to have a front line here now. And a planning bonus. So they did push the, the motorized division back, but they did not win against the bicycle units. Um, they cannot push forward themselves, though. So we're kind of stuck on the fence now. And it uh, looks like we are also facing attrition issues uh, due to the, the small port. Can't build the infrastructure up yet. Uh, but just building the port up should be enough to, to fix any uh, any supply issues that we're currently having here. They are set to win, but that's just until we can get the rest of the units there. Uh, and yeah, you can see we're already turning it yellow here. All right, excellent. So if this uh, fleet is back, which they should be, uh, let's just double check here. Make sure, yes, they are here. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch this invasion. We're gonna delete that there though. And uh, let's send them out and see if uh, this ends up being successful, the invasion of San Diego, uh, with the hope that some of the divisions that were defending it are now uh, down here. Uh, one, of the, you know, one of these nine American divisions that we have here. Right now we have 14, 15, yeah, you can see they're just pumping massive amounts of troops down here. They very well couldn't end up pushing us back here if our troops don't hurry up and get to that front. Uh, and we're not able to uh, entrench it all. But yeah, I think the reinforcement rate should be what helps us here. Could also be what hurts us though, if the defense isn't reinforcing fast enough. It does seem like we are not doing so well. 17 divisions, that's a lot. And just the, the fact is, it's just taking us so long for our troops to get over here. So let's see if they can get there in time, guys, I don't know. Uh, I might have to set up the defense here, there we go. All right, big chunk of them got there. Okay, we're back in the green, excellent. Uh, so the invasion is now launching. And we'll have to see if San Diego is less less defended than it was. Uh, and looks like our guys are attacking here. Let's go, just go ahead and stop that. Uh, they keep on attacking. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Uh, because it's under control of the AI, so I have no choice. Um, that's unfortunate. I think we'll have to delete this to stop that. Even then, I don't think that'll work. It might, though. All right, so it does look like, there we go. We have stopped the attacks. Which might have succeeded, but you can see that the the uh, the defense was red, while the attack was green. Now, when we've seen that happen in the past, it just results in yeah, you win the offensive, but you you lost the defense, so you get pushed back anyway. So it doesn't matter, and you're just exhausting yourselves by attacking them. Uh, so it's just not the best route to go. It's better to just let them uh, focus on the defense. Got tons of divisions just sitting in that training army. Uh, now remember, they are only training if they need it. Uh, so most of those aren't training. Uh, but yeah, the majority of them are, are completely done. We need to give them an army, but there's really no point until we, we get a damn strong beachhead over here and we actually start needing troops, uh, which I think we've got now. I don't think they're going to push us back. Uh, I think we're going to hold here. Uh, we can also build forts here if need be. We could build like a fortified line, like, I don't know, right here perhaps. If I really feel like we're going to be pushed back, which could end up happening. You can see they keep on pumping more and more divisions here. We're sitting at 26, 27 divisions now. Uh, they're going to do everything they can to push us back here, which is why I'm hoping that San Diego is going to be open now. Uh, we'll see. And that's a level 10 naval base, so we won't need to build it up or anything. Uh, but yeah, just hoping to get behind these guys. And then if we can move fast, take Tijuana, uh, get to this river here, then we can cut them all off from supply and destroy who knows how many divisions because <laughs> they keep pumping them down there. Uh, we got the improved infantry equipment 3. That's a nice passive bonus there. It's going to be pretty useful to have. Uh, what else do we want to get? I guess we can get the land night attack up. That would be useful. Can also get the marine uh, bonus, research bonus here. Or just start working on the special forces because, uh, you know, all this would help the marines as well. Uh, you know what? Let's get the land night attack because that affects all of our units. Uh, we definitely want to start getting some of these uh, passive bonuses here, guys. So they're up to 31 units and they are now in the red. Uh, so I don't know, guys. They could end up winning here. It's really hard to say. Uh, Marines are coming back and uh, we're back in the green. 
I don't know, guys. We'll have to see. Um, but overall, I think they could end up pushing us back eventually. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build any forts because I feel like if this invasion here is successful, then it doesn't matter. Uh, now, what we're seeing here is that it is not going to be successful, unfortunately. Um, maybe. Let's see if we can't do something. Now, last time, I don't know why it wouldn't let me assign my my carrier wings. This is strange. Um, I know they don't have a, a lot of range here. Uh, let me just, I think it's the close air support. Okay, the close air support is just so old uh, that they can't can't reach there, apparently. Okay, so we won't be able to assign the close air support and having them on there is pretty much useless. Um, but we can assign the fighters. Uh, so that'll give us, I don't know, that they can give us air superiority. No, we can't assign the fighter. Huh, strange, you would think we'd be able to considering that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure why they won't let us assign these. You know, guys, I'm not entirely sure why. But the only thing I can think of is that it's the fact that they're set to the uh, naval invasion support. Maybe if I took them off here and then I left them here, if I could just get them to stay here. And they're not staying here. Good God. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm just having all kinds of issues, guys. Uh, so because of that, we just lost the bonus we were getting from those. Uh, so they're back now, but that's already gonna have the hit, unfortunately. I'm hoping that this will now allow me to assign here. Yes, it was because they were on a mission. Okay, uh, now we can assign them here now, and they can kind of reach. I don't know if that's gonna be close enough. Probably not, uh, but we'll assign them anyway. So let's get the, uh, all the planes that we can assign here. Now that we know what the hell's going on here. All right, and then we're gonna do the more ground crews as well, because that is not a lot of planes. Um, but hopefully it'll be enough. You can see it's green, um, but them pulling back just for that short amount of time might have been too much, guys. And these guys are still set up to invade here. Okay, that sucks. I <laughs> don't want them to invade there. Uh, you saw we deleted the invasion. I have no idea what happened there, guys. That is super strange. Uh, but what sucks is that we could have taken San Diego if they would have been in the right location. Instead, they're over here. Now, this will still let us cut off 30-something divisions if they win. Uh, but we're going to lose in San Diego now, so yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Overall, just having a lot of issues with uh, just mechanics not working properly or the way that uh, you expect them to. Like, this should never happen. The invasion is deleted. Um, now, maybe I, when I edited it, I didn't pull them off that one, so they're set to do both of them. Let me just take a look, even if the arrow doesn't indicate that. So maybe that's my fault. Um, let's just take a look at the edit mode here. No, uh, I don't think that's it, guys. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I don't think uh, they were assigned. I don't know why they're still attacking there. Uh, so that's irritating because we could have had San Diego. I think we would have won there if it wasn't for that. Uh, we did get the destroyer holes. Uh, so we could go ahead and start building those, I suppose. I think we have everything for them. Yeah. Yeah, we got everything for them. Uh, so now it's just about getting those submarines now. And then it'll be the last one to grab. Uh, and then we can get them the uh, snorkels as well. How long does that take? Uh, looks like it takes a long time without the uh, experience. So let's go ahead and design these uh, destroyers. I know we're like right in the middle of a important invasion here, one here where we might end up losing. Uh, but if we win here, then that cuts those divisions off. So that's gonna be big for us. Uh, yeah, it's real unfortunate, guys, that this went down this way. Uh, Cause I think we would have won in San Diego. There was only those two units de defending there. I think we would have got it with the uh, air support and the naval support, but instead they, they didn't stop their invasion of a mountain. Uh, so yeah. That's that's unfortunate, but hey if we win we can still cut them off. So that's what's important. I guess uh, but Let's go and get these uh, destroyers designed I've just been having a lot of difficulty in today's episode with some of this stuff man uh, Let's go and say we don't oh, you know what I should have kept that one uh, So that we could change up damn. Yeah, I should have kept that one. All right. Well, whatever it's fine uh, We're just gonna have to do this one here. Uh, so this is based off of the Submarine sinking ones and uh, not the torpedo destroyers. I think we called them sub hunters uh, Which largely just had the uh, depth charges and I feel like This is probably unnecessary now uh, because the Americans just don't have any submarines uh, So I think we're just going to design one destroyer based more on torpedoes and just have like one depth charge uh, Slot and I think that'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure we get the uh, the light battery fours on there though I think we currently have, uh, yes, we do have the dual purpose right now. Uh, so if we were to add this, we'd get better piercing, uh, but worse anti-air. So we're just gonna keep that on there. Uh, we got the best anti-air on there. I think, yeah, we got the best sonar on there, best radar. We haven't uh, gotten radar forages yet. Uh, we can go ahead and upgrade the torpedoes though, and of course the engine. 
And then what we're going to do with these is we're going to leave the one depth charge on there, depth charge fours. And then go ahead and put uh, torpedoes, I think, on the rest of this. Yeah, I probably just have this be a torpedo destroyer. I think that'd probably be the best thing. Uh, I just don't think we need uh, a very high depth charge attack, honestly. Uh, so we could, of course, go ahead and get another dual purpose on here, I suppose. I think you could get the the uh, good dual purpose, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere on here. Maybe not. Maybe we can only get this one. So it could put a, a better dual purpose on there. Yeah, I suppose we could do that rather than having just be torpedoes. We can at least, like, uh, battle other... Uh, other destroyers. Just looking to see if there is any of the really good. Nah, that's only on the the cruisers. Uh, we can only get these ones here. Yeah, I feel like this is this is all right. Uh, it's kind of a uh, not so much a torpedo destroyer. It's more like a jack of all trades type, a master of none. Uh, can't do anything really well. Uh, torpedo attack still pretty high though, guys. That's not shabby at all. Uh, and then yeah, I have a little bit of light attack. Uh, to destroy other other destroyers, uh, sink them, and a little bit of depth charge, just enough to deal with the possibility of running into submarines. But here's what's important: here is anti-air going up. I think that's going to be pretty helpful, considering the fact that uh, if we face anything, it's going to be American planes bombing us. So, despite the fact that this isn't like heavily concentrated on torpedoes, we do have other stuff on here. We're still going to call it to port torpedo destroyer. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. That's looks like it was all of our experience. We had just enough to get this done. Uh, so let's go and save that, and this will also result in us only need to build one type of uh, of destroyer now. So let's go ahead and take these guys down, throw any uh, uh, new dockyards we get into here. All right, excellent. Uh, so I don't think anything else needs to be done, though. I don't know if I okay. So yeah, the uh, cruisers are already set up and good to go. We're gonna place uh, any remaining dockyards from this here when these finish up into those. Uh, so that looks pretty good. All right, excellent. So back to our invasion. Again, this one did unfortunately fail here, the invasion of San Diego. That is not going to succeed. Uh, so that's a shame. But it does look like we're going to succeed here. Uh, that's the way it appears anyway. So let's go ahead and, and give them some assistance. And we'll see if we can't um, make this into a win so we can cut these. Uh, right now it's 35 divisions off. Uh, they are bombing us, unfortunately. I knew this was going to be a problem. We could end up losing... A high, a very uh, high-level carrier battleship here, simply because, uh, I mean, they're going to bomb us here, and uh, it was the risk. Uh, I knew that it was a risk when we did this. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that these guys are now assigned over to here. That might help us out here. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, guys. We'll see if that helps out at all. So we're at 86 now. Uh, here we're just barely winning, uh, so we need to get this done. I think we are going to succeed, but again, they could throw more divisions down here, which would result in us losing here. It's only four divisions as well, uh, but it does look like we're going to win. Uh, what do they have left? Just one division stopping us. Uh, but again, if they retreat anybody or send anybody over this way, then it's a wrap for us. We did get there. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done now. Uh, what we want to do, and these guys are already going back out. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I'm having like a lot of difficulty with just basic mechanics right now, guys. I don't know... Uh, why things aren't uh, working the way they're supposed to. Uh, so these guys here have a left to go into that port. We don't want them to do that. Let's have them go into this one. And then we're going to try and get these guys cut off as quickly as we possibly can. Um, now we could end up losing here. All I got to do is attack that way. And uh, we'll have some serious trouble. We might not be able to get them cut off. So now we have to finish up in this defense. Yeah, this is this is gonna be troublesome, guys. Very difficult. We gotta finish this defense so that we can attack them now. So we can finish this defense here without losing the port, which it looks like they are getting destroyed. Damn it. Yeah, they're completely being destroyed because of their lack of organization. <sighs> Shit, man. Alright, so what we need to do is take more divisions from wherever, over here, I guess, and get them moving over to this way. Uh, I think we might end up losing here, guys. Uh, I don't know. That's the way it feels. Let's just take a bicycle unit and have them come on over here. Now, these guys are going in. I don't know if we should let them go in because they're going in there with the low organization, which means they're just going to get quickly defeated. Uh, so what we might want to do instead is have them return back home. Uh, I, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's have them go back to Hawaii for right now. Uh, I don't want them to go into here because I'm worried about supply. Uh, we already have supply issues. So let's just have them go back here. 
all four of those divisions. Uh, such a shame that it went down the way it did, guys. Uh, with the, the split invasion between four units on each side, that was not desirable at all. Uh, these guys are also going to retreat over to here because they're just going to lose any damn way. Uh, looks like they're about to uh, be defeated, which would result in them being completely destroyed. Motorized division was already completely destroyed. Bicycle division still trying to get over there, um, but as you can see, we are having some difficulty here, guys. Uh, Marine division is about to be completely destroyed. We are winning here, uh, so at the very least, we're going to get that out of this, but yeah, I don't think we're going to cut them off and get them destroyed the way I wanted to, simply because we can't get this done. And now we have to fight somebody as well. All right, so that's not going to work. All right, guys, I think we're going to lose here. Real shame. Real shame, guys. I think we're going to end up losing that. We're going to have to do the attack again, more than likely. Uh, and it does look like these guys did fail in their attack, and now they're in a very bad position on the defense. Yeah. This is not going well. All right, so let's go and pull back. Get any troops that are here. Have them evacuate. I think we lost another unit there, but yeah, we did lose this, unfortunately. And they are bombing us here this entire time, and you can see this carrier's not doing so well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them back home to repair. And uh, overall, so far, not a lot of successes. Uh, we only, really only had the defense. That's the only thing we've got going for us right now. These guys did come back here. <laughs> not exactly what I wanted them to do. They're probably not going to let us build a fort here, I, I expect. Uh, I think they'll uh, continue attacking us over and over again. So we'll never get a fort built there. But we can build one here. So let's go ahead and start it out. Uh, getting a fort just in case they push us back. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tick this up to the very, very top as well. Although we'll focus on that, make sure that it doesn't really matter, but we'll make sure that port's on the very top as well. So yeah, we'll have to launch another invasion, guys. Have to see if we can't make, uh, uh, have another invasion and make that be successful. Did lose a submarine here. Uh, as for these guys, we can try again uh, without any uh, support from our fleet. I'm willing to try it out. Uh, let's see if we can't make it happen, guys. So, uh, the problem, of course, is here. We took our submarines out because they were getting sunk. Uh, so, we're going to try again. And I'm not going to give these guys any invasion support uh, from that one fleet that we we created because they need to repair. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set these guys up to invade. And at the very least, it might further distract the Americans, get them off of the south uh, frontier. And you never know. They might have pulled enough divisions from this front now. Uh, that they, they could end up having success. Uh, because this is a lot of American divisions over here. Not to mention, like, all the American divisions that... And what is this one guy doing here? I don't know what he's doing, but let's have him go over here. I have no idea what he's uh, currently doing or where he's at. Uh, but he set up his own front. Let's go and delete that. And we won't be able to give them a planning bonus. Well, we can give them one, I suppose. Temporarily. And we just have to remember to delete that if we set up any more naval invasions from the Yellow Army, which I think we are going to try again. This time, we'll just do a whole new invasion. Again, I feel like if we had been set up to invade only one of these ports, either one of them, I think we would have won. Uh, but instead, uh, they were split. I don't know why, because uh, I edited it and I sent them all over here and I deleted that order. I don't know why they went to both of them. But I think that's what screwed us over there. Uh, but I do think we're going to lose here. Um, I don't think we're going to hold out here. Eventually, they're going to get us. There's just too many divisions, man. Uh, and, of course, we're having these attrition issues as well. We did get the advanced landing craft, so that's going to uh, be applied to the units that are currently invading now. Uh, so that's going to be pretty beneficial to have. Uh, let's go ahead and go after... I guess we can go after the uh, submarine snorkels next. You know what? You know, we're going to wait. We'll just use that one tech uh, slot that we're working with on the submarine holes. We'll use that for that. Uh, I feel like more passive bonuses for our troops would be more useful right now. Let's get that marine bonus and a little bit of or extra organization for them. Uh, now we could again pump tons of divisions in here to make sure that we hold this front. Uh, I don't think that would be wise uh, because of the attrition issues. You can see we're already having problems because it's also in the desert so that's another issue here you're always going to face a little bit of attrition because it's in the desert uh, but yeah i think we should just focus on defending what we have here with what we have uh, and they might not be able to break through here especially with us building this fort now uh, which it's up to level one uh, and we still hold on to this province but once once they take this guys uh, i do expect they'll uh they'll continue the attack and we won't be able to build the fort any higher unfortunately. 
Uh, but I don't know. We might be able to get here in time. We got these fast motorized divisions. Uh, one day and one hour. How long until these guys get here? Uh, 16 hours. All right, so we were able to get there. Uh, we're only getting there with like a couple divisions at a time. So that's the reason why we're having so much difficulty here. Uh, let's see what this decision's about. Okay, we can now do the uh, inter... What is it called? Like inter-service rivalry. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the next one. Now these last two were naval ones. Uh, we did the two for the Navy. Uh, so this time we're going to do one for the Army, and it's going to be the prioritized Army aircraft construction, uh, so that when we start building tactical bombers, uh, as soon as I research them, uh, we'll be able to build those faster. Uh, now this one here would just give us the bonuses for naval bombers and all the carrier planes, and we already have plenty of those. Uh, so that's why we're going to do this one and keep it kind of more balanced as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And then the last one we're going to do is prioritize steel for ships, which is going to give us four more dockyards. I uh, don't see any more successful invasions by the British on that side. Uh, but yeah, you can see the Americans are just pumping everything they got into defeating us here. It's definitely causing us some, some difficulty, guys. Uh, so we lost two uh, two more divisions that we need to send over to here now. Uh, make up for those that we lost. And we're going to use the Marines here. And what we'll do... Oh, man, I almost feel like... I almost feel like these ones here are going to have to be put in, like, their own separate army for right now. Uh, so that we can, like, train them up or whatever while they're sitting here. Yeah, we might do that. So put them in a training army. Let's get those two Marines over here. And then we'll try and do what we did last time. Launch another eight-division army. But this time, have them all go to one province. Uh, either San Diego or in here to the port that's underneath Tijuana. Uh, but again, that's a mountain province. So I don't think that was the best place to attack. Uh, though it did give us the bonus when we were defending there. Uh, there was that. Uh, they did beat us here. Okay, not surprising uh, that we did end up losing here. And now they're attacking, which is going to result us in, result in us not being able to build the fort up. Uh, let's go and pull this back, these attacks here. This is not going to work. So let's go ahead and start building up the fort here now. And they could very well push us back into the sea, guys. This is, this is problematic here. We do have the port up to a level 3 now, so we're getting much better supply here. I think the main attrition problems we're having is because, again, we're fighting in the desert. Uh, and I don't think we're going to def... Well, we might want to defend that solely so they can attack from two provinces, increasing the, the overall width here. But you know what? We're not going to be able to defend this, so I'll just have to pull it back. Yeah, I think we're going to get pushed back, guys, unfortunately. Unless we can get a, a unit over here soon, um, then I think we might get pushed back. You know what? We might actually be able to win here. Never mind, I was going to pull this back. We'll keep them here. It is green. They're not attacking with as many divisions over here. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, guys. That did not work. Alright, and this guy's trying to retreat over there. I don't think that's going to work out well for him. Um, let's just stop that. I know we could take it back, but how, for how long? Uh, you know, just until they get more divisions over here and we'd end up losing. And let's give this, uh, take a, this opportunity of them not attacking, to get our organization back up, to get our entrenchment up, and to maybe get that damn fort built. Uh, we currently have a level 2 fortification here. That's not much, but it's more than we had in the other province. Now, given they can't attack from two provinces now, increasing the overall width, it's going to make it much harder to defend here. Uh, yeah, overall, I just don't think we'll be able to win here, guys. I think they might end up pushing us back. However, we just got nuclear bombs. Uh, of course, there's a lot before we're able to use those. we got to build a nuclear bomb, of course. Uh, and then we also need some strategic bombers to drop those off, which I don't think we have yet. Uh, so something we're going to want to get. Uh, let's go and get the, the next radar. We're going to try and get all the last radar here. Uh, and just see how this invasion up here in the north is going. Uh, so into Seattle, it's yellow. So it might end up failing. Remember, we did send 14 divisions there. Uh, into this province here in Oregon... Uh, it does look like that one will be successful, and there's only 10 divisions going into that one. So yeah, I think we should have another successful invasion up here, which will hopefully distract the troops here. Maybe they'll send some of them up there. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, they're attacking across from Portland. This is a river attack, so it's not going to go well for them. Uh, let's figure out how we want to do this. We really want to span out and start grabbing territory. Um, let's go and have them get across the river since they're the Marines. Take some of these infantry and have them go here. And what I think we're going to do is just go ahead and stop this attack and have them all come on over to here. The whole army come on over to here. Ah, oh, damn, that stopped all their attacks. Okay, you know what? We need to finish the defense up anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and send them off. Send all the Marines across there. 
take uh, these guys, have one go over there. Him try and get across that river nice and fast, and there we go. I didn't leave much to defend the port, I know. That is a problem, but of course we have more divisions coming. Uh, and we're gonna go delete this current order here. Maybe. I cannot. Man, I haven't like, like a lot of difficulty with like simple tasks right now. Like just deleting a little order or whatever. It's just not, just not happening <laughs> as easy as it should. All right, so we do have a successful invasion there. Uh, we do not have an airbase, so can't bring any planes there just yet. Gonna have to give them some time. Just trying to expand this as much as we can before they send more troops over here. Uh, let's actually go ahead and go. I don't think we'll get across the river for them. Maybe. Let me see. Uh, one day and 12 hours. Yeah, we'll get the, we'll get across the river for them. All right, we'll go and do that then, because it is going to get really hard to advance here because of the rivers, because of the terrain, the very mountainous terrain. So this invasion is more than anything about distracting the Americans uh, from other uh, other locations, hopefully. Uh, so we will have a full 24 divisions here soon. Push forward here. And hopefully we can hold out. Again, we don't want to push it too much. The front, I mean. Push it forward too much. Uh, because then we'll have like so much territory that we won't be able to properly defend it. Alright, so I'm going to go off this way and just hope somebody gets over here to cover this for us. I'd love to cut the divisions off in Portland, so we'll see if we can't make that happen. Uh, and then let's just continue to push this part of the front forward since there's nobody down there to stop us. Uh, and it does look like they've had to stop this here. Yeah, at least briefly, they've stopped it. Uh, so let me take a look at the troops that we have here. Do any of them need to train? They do. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take any troops that are here and put them into like a secondary army if they need it, the training I mean. So there's a couple of these guys that do. Let's kind of place them into like a little training army here and get them training up. All right, excellent. And then we'll build a, I, th I think we'll do this now in fact. Uh, let's go ahead and take the troops that are here and get the naval invasion set up. Uh, so we're going to, again, try, I think we're going to try San Diego again, guys. I feel like if they have proper support and if all of the divisions are are in the same, you know, hitting the same port, I feel like they should be able to win this time. Uh, so we'll see. Now, we're also still repairing the ships here. We should be anyway. Yeah, repairing that one carrier that took a little bit of damage there. And... Hopefully this time they don't do the same thing because man, they got us to like 60 something percent health uh, I was definitely worried for a second there that they were gonna end up sinking that carrier uh, And I don't know if we'll be able to get there first. Let's take a look if we even want to um, Again, I'm a little bit worried about stretching this front out too much uh, Could end up causing us some difficulty here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack here Because we want to cut this division off in Portland. And we can do that if we can get around this way and have that province taken. Uh, so let's see if we can make this happen. So he's gonna go there. Uh, we do have military factory to get assigned. Uh, again, none of this really matters at this point because uh, we are stacked on equipment. We have more than enough equipment, more than we'll ever need, I think. Uh, though if we, yeah, we just don't have the uh, uh, strategic bombers yet. So we still have to research those. So we will need to build those. Uh, but other than that, I mean, everything else is just completely stacked. Uh, there's nothing that we really need. Uh, so we'll just place it to the planes, I suppose. All right, so here we go. This will cut off those three divisions in Portland. Uh, we're going to keep on pushing forward again, even though I know that this is risky. Uh, we don't Again, we don't want to push it out too much. Uh, but yeah, if we can get some wins, easy wins here in the mountains, then we've got to take them. Uh, because it's going to be really difficult to uh, advance here soon. Uh, we did win there, and we should get this province, which means that the three divisions in Portland will be cut off and uh, easily destroyed. All right, so let's go and attack into here. We need an airbase. That's where the airbase in Oregon is located, so let's see if we can't grab that. Uh, this guy will retreat over to here, which means, yeah, we, we'll just go here then, in that case. And then we'll be able to uh, get these three divisions in Portland completely destroyed. We should take a look at the southern front, make sure they're not winning here. Uh, not yet, uh, but uh, as you can see here, guys, the, uh, I don't, let me just take a look. Yeah, we didn't get it very high, uh, unfortunately, and it's not gonna continue to repair as long as they're attacking. Only got it up to level two, uh, but we did not tick this one up to the top, so let's go and make sure we get that prioritized. And uh, looks like the naval base is just about done as well. So let's go and just build up one more level. I think that would be good. 
I don't know how that got ticked down to the bottom uh, when I reassigned it, but whatever. We'll get it back up there to the top. And at the very least, we'll have a, a, a excuse me, a, a fort built there because it does look like we're going to lose here more than likely. Now, maybe once this invasion is successful, uh, we'll turn it around there. Uh, maybe they might even punt some more troops up to the other front as well. Uh, these guys are done training. We're just waiting for the Marines to finish training, which are slowly making their way on over here. So let's just pay attention to this one front here uh, where we've had success. Uh, though, as you can see, they brought more divisions over here. So that's causing us some problems, man. Uh, so we're going to have to attack right here, unfortunately. Uh, across a river, I know. Uh, that's not great. We did get control of the air base here, so that's big. Let's go ahead and move our planes there now. Uh, we have planes just sitting around right now that have nothing to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them all moved. In fact, these guys shouldn't even be <laughs> doing these missions at all because uh, they're just wasting... Uh, I mean, we have full fuel, full fuel, excuse me. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's unnecessary to have them doing these missions. So let's just go ahead and take our, our most experienced planes here. Um, this guy, we're just going to move to the, to the coast for now. He doesn't really have any experience. Uh, let's go and move these close air supports uh, on over to here. And we'll also prioritize this area, of course. More, more ground crews there. All right, and out of these ones, again, if they're not very experienced, we'll just move them over here for now. But the ones that do have experience will move in. So this will be all the close air support that we're going to put here for now. I think we're going to need a lot of fighters. And let me see if we have any fighters here. All right, so he's already going over there, that close air support. All right, so that's it for the planes here. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got a close air support here. Where are all of our damn experienced fighters? Here they are. All right, so these are the three that we're going to move on over there. All right, excellent. So 1,200 total planes. Uh, do we have the ability to build it up? Because we're going to need... No, we do not. Uh, what about the port here? I know it's not a very large port. Let's build it up a little bit. We could always bring some more troops on over to here. I am a little bit worried about supply, though. As you can see, attrition is, is a problem. Uh, but let's go and start doing it anyways. We've got to get more troops over here, guys. Uh, so we can go ahead and move the purple army, I suppose. Uh, just make sure that this is how we want them to look. Uh, could take some of the infantry divisions out, I suppose. Um, but... This is very net mountainous terrain, so it's probably for the best. Uh, this is what we'll do. We'll move two of them out. Uh, just bring them into this army here. And then we'll move uh, two bicycle divisions that are done training. And then put them into this one. You know what? Actually, we could bring some motorized into this one here, into this purple army. Because I don't think we have very much. Yeah, we don't have very much motorized or tanks. Uh, so yeah, we'll just take a couple more infantry out then. So that we can bring uh, some more bicycle battalions out of the training army here. Bring them into the purple army as well as like, one tank unit. Alright, so that looks good. It gives us uh, seven total infantry, total of nine bikes. Yeah, that, that'll work. Again, I know this isn't the best train for some of these units, but it's fine. Alright, so let's get them assigned on over here. Oops. Uh, we should also give any planning bonuses here. And probably make sure they're not set to do anything. We don't want the AI taking over here. Alright, so just give them a little bit of planning bonus. And so they should start making their way on over here. It's going to take them a long time to get here, but in that time that will allow us to build up the naval base. And in fact, I'm just going to build it all the way up. Make sure we don't have any supply issues. I still got to get the wind here to cut those three divisions off. Uh, let's see if there's anywhere we can Yeah, we can attack right here I'm trying to make sure we secure the, the air base there Let me see if I can't win here. I didn't want to attack all the way over there, but whatever I want to attack right here And then we'll attack with these guys just kind of push forward here along this front Really hoping we can get the win right there, but again, we have to have somebody here to stop them. Uh, there we go uh, So we got one uh, bike unit having no success uh, again, it's across a river in a mountain, so it wasn't wasn't expected to have a lot of success there. Uh, just trying to get this mountain province taken so that Portland will be completely surrounded and we'll be able to destroy those units there. Still waiting to get troops up on the front as well. Looks like we failed this attack here. This one seems to be successful, though. Uh, let's just dip down here, make sure we're not losing. Yeah, we're still winning there. 
Okay, excellent. And then we should be training these guys up. Looks like they're all done with the exception of the two Marine Divisions uh, that we just kind of sent them and they haven't yet arrived. Uh, so we need to get those guys finished training before we actually send the the army there. And it does look like this is now going to be a failed attack, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a real shame, man. We had it. We had it, guys. But, yeah, just uh, maybe if we wait until these guys leave here. When do they leave? One day and eight hours? Yeah, and that'll allow us to cut off more divisions. I don't have trouble keeping them here. Unless I was to, like, make a specific assignment just for this one front here. Otherwise, I have to keep pulling them back, and it does look like they're now attacking us. What a shame. Alright, so they're now going to go on the offense here. And I think we'll have some difficulty trying to defend all this territory here. Uh, it is in, in mountains, so that does give us that benefit. Um, but overall... I think they'll end up pushing us back here eventually. Uh, but it's going to be really costly for them. Them doing all these attacks across rivers and stuff, yeah, that is not going to work out well for them. All right, guys, so I think we're probably going to end the episode here. Uh, as you guys can see, we're, we're having some successes. Uh, we've at least gotten some beachheads. We're at least fighting the Americans. Uh, and we have to really hope that the British will launch some, some additional attacks on the East Coast uh, to further distract the Americans over there, keep their divisions that way. Uh, but yeah, so far having some some success here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is I almost want to set this up to be like its own separate army and send like a full army into San Diego, rather than just the six units from the Yellow Army. That might be better uh, to do. And then just have these six units come back over to here. Yeah, I think that might be what we end up doing, guys. Now, of course, if we did that, then we'd have to replan all this. All right, this is what we'll do. We're going to let the, the Yellow Army go. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and try it out with just the eight divisions. Uh, six plus the two Marine ones that are coming in here. And we'll try with just the eight units. And uh, then we can always send them reinforcements. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and put another army in Hawaii. Uh, so they can get over there quicker. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that set up for the next episode. Uh, but if the, the eight units fail in the attack on San Diego... Then we'll just set up a new invasion with a full-size army to invade into San Diego or even Los Angeles with, again, the same intention of trying to cut off all the divisions that are down here. Because that'd be a massive win for us, uh, cutting off, you know, 30 Mexican and American divisions. Uh, that'd be big. Uh, so if we could do that, get these guys cut off and destroyed, uh, and, and get the, the key port provinces here in San Diego specifically with that level 10 uh, port, uh, then I think at that point we'll be... In a situation where they won't be able to push us out, uh, we'll, we'll be in a very good spot. Uh, but as you can see, this one is not doing so well. Many of these guys are having some problems here. Uh, they brought a lot more divisions over here, the Americans have. Uh, a ton of divisions. Uh, so I think we're going to have a lot of trouble holding uh, this location. We might have to attack here uh, without cutting them off just to, to shorten the front. Because as you can see, this one province is causing us to cover one, two, three, four provinces... Uh, that we otherwise wouldn't be able to cover. Or wouldn't have to, I mean. We'd only have to cover Portland. Uh, so we could reduce the size of the front by a total of three. Uh, which would be incredibly helpful if we attacked into Portland. So I think we might have to give up our dreams here of cutting off these divisions and destroying them. Uh, just so that we can reduce the size of the front to make it a little bit easier to defend. Because, as you guys can see here, we are having trouble. Uh, we are having some trouble. Now, are these guys all here yet? Looks like we only have... Uh, a few of the planes, the fighter planes. Uh, so we're not actually getting any close air support help yet. Uh, so I think that'll kind of change some things up uh, once we get those over here. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, had some successful invasions. Certainly, uh, it's a challenging fight, guys. Uh, some people were worried that this was going to be all over uh, real quick. We're going to just wrap the Americans up uh, super easily. Uh, but I didn't think that was going to be the case simply because we're invading from this side. It's just more challenging uh, than invading over here on the East Coast. I've always found the East Coast a little bit easier uh, to invade in, in Hoi 4 uh, than the Pacific Coast just because of all the issues we've seen so far. Uh, it's a lot tougher terrain, a lot more mountains. Uh, of course, there's the fact that uh, there's no no range for your planes or your uh, ships. Unlike over here, we have like all kinds of islands you can take and then use for your ships and your planes to operate out of. Over here, that's not the case. Uh, there's not really much you can you can do here. Uh, you can take this little bit of territory up here, I suppose. Of course, that's in Axis hands right now. Uh, but yeah, there's really not a whole lot you can do uh, to try and get some some support from your your air and your and your naval. Uh, so I think that's why it's more difficult on the Pacific. That and the terrain over here. Uh, so I expected it to be challenging, uh, but I think we got it now, guys. Slowly but surely, 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna get in here, and uh, then hopefully the British will launch their invasions over here, and and we'll get the Americans defeated. Again, though, I do expect there's gonna be several more videos before we actually defeat them. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, where we might end up even getting nukes. We won't have the strategic bombers to, to drop them. But we could end up having nukes uh, sometime in the next episode. It looks like 111 days is when we're going to get the next one. Uh, so that'll be another game changer, I feel. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys on that next video, and thanks for watching.